Okay, I've uh, restarted my computer after uninstalling um, a Vera antivirus because it's not working. And I'm going to filehippo.com, use the search bar up there to type in a Vera. It's Windows that you want, and then you click on that to do the search. And there we go. It comes up with a Vera free antivirus. I should also say, after restarting the computer, I used a program called CCleaner to remove registry entries just to make sure and I've also checked in the control panel and the Vera is completely gone so I'm doing a completely fresh install so I'm about to get that and I'm going to write that down if you bear with me a second just give me a bit of paper I always keep notes on all the software I install so I'm about to get version 15.0.8 0.656 okay as you can see that's the size 157.59 megabytes so it's not a small file to down download anyway let's click on download and what happens it gives you a bit of information about what a Vera antivirus is it's to remove things such as viruses trojans backdoors blah 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 it can detect and remove over 150,000 viruses. Well, I should think so, because there's millions of viruses these days. Um, blah, 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 blah. And then, so the download hasn't actually started. You now have to click there, where it says download latest version. So click on that. And it tells you your program is now downloading. Excuse me. And it comes down there. If you're using Google Chrome browser, um, there you, go, you get an idea of speed. I'm just going to write down the time I started today. So in the UK it's 4.46pm on the 1st of April 2015. I'm also writing down the name of the website I got it from. As I told you before, you go to filehippo.com and this lists all kinds of software. There's an absolute ton of different programs you can get from that website. It's pretty good. As you can see, it's going to take a few minutes, but uh, I'm just going to show you how long it takes. And I've got a fast internet connection, so this is um, this is down to File Hippo servers providing it at this speed. Now, once I've got that, I'll then show you what you have to do to install the antivirus, and then I'll show you whether or not it's possible to update it, because this is the main problem I've been having for the last few weeks. As I said in the first video, um, the 2014 version of a VR antivirus stopped updating and that is getting the updates that allow it to catch the latest uh, viruses you usually get updates every day but they suddenly stopped in roughly mid uh, March 25th, yeah, 2015 and um, in the end I just gave up on it and I thought well it's, there's obviously something wrong and I uninstalled a VR antivirus 2014 and I installed a VR antivirus 2015. Um, but if you got that antivirus from avira.com, they gave you an installer that was broken. It was impossible to get it to install properly. So that's why I, I went to filehippo.com to get a VR antivirus. And that, the installer on filehippo works. So anyway, but even though I got the antivirus installed, I then went to update it so that it can detect the latest virus problems. And... Um, it's just impossible to update and I've told them on their forum the, the official forum for Avira is uh, answers.avira.com you have to sign up for that with you have to give them an email address and create a you know like a username and a password and then you, you can post questions on there tell them about problems and so obviously I told them and they gave me a suggestion about changing the uh, proxy server settings but as you saw in my first video Windows is blocking me from accessing that file, so I can't make that change. So I've uninstalled the 2015 version and I'm now in the process of reinstalling it. I don't care how long this video takes, I'm going to put this on the internet and I'm going to let Avira see this to shame them into fixing their software. Because it really is dreadful. It used to be good, but God knows what they've done. So all these changes they've done to so that they're now providing is it antivirus for phones and all kinds of other things they've kind of bolted on.
toolbar for for uh, web protection. Don't need all that crap. Just need antivirus. Anyway, they seem to have taken their eye off the ball. They, they, I don't know if it's this, they've got problems with their servers or it's poorly written software, but it's just been an absolute joke. As I said in the first video, I'm using Windows 7 and um, can't get it to update on Windows 7. Got a relative who uses Windows XP, can't get it to update on that. So it's not just like a problem on one computer, it seems to be generally. And also I've looked on the, the Avira forum and there's other people having this problem, it's not just me. But Avira just seems to tell you their only solution is change proxy settings and it, that doesn't work. Right, almost there. So there you go, it took about five minutes to get that. Now once that's like that, just double click on that. You'll get this window open up. Do you want to run this file? Yes, run. So click on run. And it'll ex extract the files you've just downloaded. This is just all junk from file hippo. That's just... Uh, let me get that out of the way. So that's distracting. Right. And then down here you've got a little icon flashing in the Windows taskbar. So click on that. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes? Yes, I do. Time is now 4.51pm in the UK. As I said, I've, I've used many other antivirus over the years. I've used Norton, which is pretty crap. And why do I say it's crap? Because it didn't. It failed to detect some viruses, so I stopped using that. I've used Norman. I've used McAfee, which is junk. Right, here we go. The following software instances may cause incompatibility problems. They're recommending that I uninstall McAfee Site Advisor. I'm not going to do that, so click on Next. Right. Oh God. Right, let's let's click and see what is protection cloud. I might as well show you the whole shebang while I'm doing this. Attempt to explain it to you. So it's gonna open up a browser window. You, the good thing about Firefox is it, at least it tells you what's going on when you're waiting for stuff. Right, and you get this web page here, you're on here, avira.com. Okay, do you want to explain anything to me? Alright, here we go. So they explain what happens. One, suspicious file is detected on your computer. Two, Fast digital fingerprint sent to the cloud. What is the cloud? The cloud is just a, a server somewhere. File is checked in real time against their database. Okay, four. File is identified as either safe or infected. Five, the information is returned. Right, that's fine. Okay. God, did you really have to open up a web page to tell me that? So, yes, I want to use protection cloud. So I'm just going to write that down. Tick. Protection cloud. That's fine. Um, this is where it's tricky. Do I want to install everything they're going to attempt to install? Let's do custom, because that will give me a choice of what to install. Accept the end user agreement. Click on next. So, set up and install a very free antivirus in the destination below. If you don't want that then select somewhere else. Anyway, click next. Right. To add or remove components, click the checkbox. So you, you don't have to get all this stuff if you don't want it, but you do need it. <laughs> Real-time protection you need. If I click on that, that allows configuration of Windows firewall from within the real. That's fine. Rootkits you need. Shut you need. Right, click on next. Confirm manually when sending suspicious files to Avira, yeah, click on that, yes, click on next, 
create a desktop icon. What's a desktop icon? It's just something like that. It's just a little picture to show you what software you've got installed on your computer. Yes, create a program group and start menu. Yes, click on next. Right, and it looks like it's going to start doing the installation. So what was I saying? Yeah, I've, I've tried lots of different antivirus over the years. Norman, Norton, McAfee. Um, I used AVG for years. That was good. That's another free antivirus. And then I can't remember when I made the switch, but for the last few years I've been using Avira. It's been very good until <laughs> March 2015 when it's all gone tits up, basically. Um, just can't understand what's happened whether they've lost some key people to other companies, whether someone's poorly written the software, whether someone's messed up their servers, I don't know, but it's just it's clearly not okay. There's too many problems with it at the moment. This is going to be the last time I attempt to install it and get it running, because if this doesn't work, I'm switching companies. Right, installation of is complete. Please specify basic settings. Okay, let's do that. Click on next. Activate heuristics. Yes, you have to have that. Keep it at medium. Click on next. Right. And then this is what Avira can detect. So I'm going to select all. And then it'll. All these things it can catch. Click on next. Right, that's going to do a quick scan. Okay, go for it. Thank you. Now have specified the basic configuration for all our settings. Okay. So click on finish. Now it's going to do a little scan. Um, I might be able to show you some of the files it scans, but obviously if it starts scanning through all my folders and stuff potentially private information. I can't show you those files obviously so I'll pan away from that if it happens. At the moment there's absolutely nothing showing so I don't know what's going on. There's no window anywhere. This is just my desktop picture of an airport. Um, so they said they were going to do a scan but I can't see anything going on which isn't very helpful. I'll keep filming another 30 odd seconds and then if nothing happens I'll start looking into it. So that's the icon you've now got on your desktop, Avira Control Center. That's what you click on to open it up to look at your antivirus settings and everything else. You've also got uh, an icon down there, that red icon there like an umbrella. That's, that's there. And you can also click on that to get to things. Aha, okay, something just happened. That just started flashing so click on that there we go so it's starting to do a quick scan of key windows files to check that you haven't got a virus in your windows part of your computer's hard drive obviously windows controls all your other software so if you get a virus in there it can really mess up everything so as you can see it's already done 53% in, in a few seconds. This is a very quick scan. It goes through your other software. Obviously I don't want to show you all the software I've got for privacy reasons. But i um, show you the percentage. 99. So you can see this is a very quick scan. Right, that window's just disappeared. So quick scan is done. Now what? Is anything going to happen or is it up to me? So, I'm now going to du double right click on the Vera Control Center desktop icon. Right, this is what it looks like. So, at the moment it's saying everything's okay. Let's click on Start Update. This is 
the bugbear of my life recently. I'm trying to get this. The program is up to date. Now it's up to date because I've just downloaded it. Time will tell whether this updates. So tomorrow I'm going to attempt to update it, see if that works. It's all very well being up to date now, but the problem is it's not been updating. And obviously you can't go through this every time you need an update. You can't install a program every day. You've got to get it to update properly. So um, let's look at the scheduler. Click on schedule there. So this is where you get it. So the way they set it up, they set it up to scan once every 168 hours. So that's once a week. That's fine by me. But you can obviously change that. So you click on plus, insert new job. And you give it a name like full scan. I don't... Right, let's just go through it, but I'm going to have to cancel this yeah, scan job. Next. And then you tell them which drives you want it to look through. And I do complete system scan. Then it will not only scan the hard drive that's inside your computer. If you've got external hard drives attached like these ones here, uh, it will scan through those as well. So that can, like me, <laughs> because I update so many videos to the internet, uh, you know, I could have thousands of files on each of these, so if you're just scanning your, your, your Windows C drive that just has your software on it, and maybe a few pictures and stuff like that, you know, an antivirus scan might take an hour. If you've got extra external hard drive to scan, then, you know, that could take a couple of hours. So anyway, choose which drive to scan. Complete system scan, click on next. And then you set up when you want that to do. So you can you can set up the antivirus to scan daily for you. Um, it's already set up weekly, so you don't need to do that interval. So it doesn't have to be. You could do it like every three or four days, whatever. Uh, let's do interval. And then you set however many days, like zero, three days, blah 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 blah. Okay. So I'm going to cancel that. But anyway, that's how to set up a, a scan that's regular. Once a week should be okay for most people. If you visit any dangerous websites, um, you know, scan more often. And then update is there. Let's do manual update. Click on yes. Yeah, okay. After clicking manual update, what happens? It goes to libraries, documents, and then there's a list of some software programs I use. <laughs> so that's not much use, I don't know what to do there. So cancel that. Update, let's do start update. Don't do manual update, because I don't know. Let's do start update. Let's try that again. Scan for updates. Ah, there you go. Files have been downloaded. Look, it has transmitted something this time. Two files have been updated. Now, don't forget, I got this to update last time after much hassle, but then it reverted to not updating. Okay, and I'm just going to show you the settings just to show that that worked that time. So if they tell me to change something, I'll say, well, it worked before. So extras, configuration, web server, double click web server, click on proxy settings, it's currently using proxy setting systems, okay, and using proxy setting systems, you just saw me, I did get an update, but for some reason, somebody on the um, Avera forum is telling me the reason you can't get updates is because you're doing that, and they're telling me to change it to do not use proxy server settings, so you get conflicting advice sometimes which can be really annoying. So anyway, you just saw it did update then with use proxy system settings, okay? So I'm just going to click on OK, get rid of that. Let's close that. So that's a VR antivirus set up to scan once a week. It's currently updating. Uh, obviously, if it doesn't update, you're supposed to get updates for antivirus every day because new viruses are written every day. So. Um, I'll keep an eye on that and I'll let you know whether that works or not. Anyway, 
thank you for watching. Bye-bye.